welcome back to AgriHealth's Farmer Tip Series. And today, we launch right into talking about utterly useless cows. You know what I mean, mastitis. And there's nothing more frustrating than seeing good cows in the penicillin mob when their milk should be in the vat. There are so many factors that can contribute to mastitis, it's often hard to know where to start. Mastitis is an infection in the udder tissue caused by bacteria. The incidence is highest directly after calving, in amongst all that spring muck and mud. Typically, we treat mastitis with antibiotics, but that means we have to keep the treated milk separate, something we want to minimise through simple steps and good management. This series is about best practice procedures that help keep mastitis under control and maximise the milk in the vat. So Neil, you don't have a lot of mastitis in your herd. What's your secret for good mastitis prevention? That's a really good question, Stephen. I, I don't think there's one single simple answer to it. It's a combination of getting all the basics right, and I think that's critical. A lot of emphasis on minimising mud um, and having good facilities at calving. So particular attention to the hygiene when we're milking in that colostrum period. Get the mud off the teats, inspecting the teats for damage, checking the milk regularly, you know, for clots and, and signs of clinical mastitis. The big key thing that I really like is the rapid mastitis test. I think that's important that we, we test every single cow, every single quarter when they're ready to enter the main herd and any subclinical infections we can deal with then. Once we put the effort in at that stage of the season, the rest of the season looks after itself. And what about maintenance of the milking machine? How important is that? I think we all underestimate just how much work a milking machine does. It is that whole contact between the cow and, and us getting milk in the vat. We do our regular machine tests and, and we do a mini machine test halfway through the season just to make sure that our machines are running properly, making sure that the vacuum level's right, pulsation's right, our rubber wears replaced when it needs to be. All those things that are critical to good milking machine performance. Fantastic. Thanks, Neil. So, as Neil says, if you can minimise the bacteria, you can minimise mastitis, and through the next few videos, we'll show you how to do it and how to educate your team. Whilst you can't eliminate mastitis from the herd, you can reduce your somatic cell count and make a real difference to herd health, which translates into a better bottom line. Watch all our videos by downloading the NZ Pharma Tips app for Apple or Android today.